Michelle Bowden for six on the card tonight. Crown the Gorgeous Right Absolute Enterprises. This battle contested over three, uh, three minute rounds. MMA rules, middleweight division. Introduced to you first, fighting out of the blue corner with an undefeated two of five record. He stands 195, seven minutes tall, weighing in at 84 kilograms even. Trained out of Southside MMA in Logan, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Slick Campbell. And introduce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner with a matching undefeated two fight record. He stands 183 centimeters tall, weighing in at 83.1 kilograms. Trained out of heaven in hell in Townsville. The ladies and gentlemen, Joel McFarlane. Couple of uh, Queensland base boys here, ready to get action started. Two and oh, gotta go. The Kefu, Joel McFarlane. Both fighters look ready, to, ready and willing to get engaged in this. Round one. And here we go. Both long rangey style fighters. There's a nice long jab there by Joel McFarlane. He wants to keep that chin down, Nick Kefu, because he's coming over top with that uh, right hand as well. Oh, nice high kick there by our south side fighter. Some nice feints. Both fighters balanced, but uh, John McFarlane bringing in those. But there is that south side MMA style wrestling. Oh, and you see that, that range. He's able to hit from the full length of his guard. Nice head movement there by uh, Nick Kefu. He looks very balanced on his feet. He does need to be careful because Joel McFarlane does have power in those hands. Mixing his kicks and punches in well. Using feints very well as well, Nick Kefu. He seems to have a great knowledge of range. Bum rush now by Joel McFarlane landing a good knee. And there's that right hand. Look, he's got to be careful with those punches. He can't eat too many. He's been rocked a couple of times now. Joel McFarlane bringing the thunder. He's looking to weather the storm a little bit at the moment, Nick Kefu. He's a bit more of a composed fighter. John McFarlane getting a bit crazy. He seems to love it. He's calling him on. And there's that right hand. That has rocked him. He's dropped down for a double, but he was hurt there by that right hand. John McFarlane has legitimate power in what he throws. Nick Kefu's got to respect that. He's going to be all the way in or all the way out. He can't sit in that midsection here with McFarlane. Because if that right hand lands like it just did again then. Great entries for those doubles, and now he's got the takedown. Great choice there by Nick Kefu, because McFarlane was finding his range with that right hand. Working from a full guard position here. McFarlane looks more interested in getting back to his feet than attacking with any sort of sweep or submit. Nice strikes. Kefu might be using this just to regain a little bit of composure, because uh, McFarlane put a couple of them on him. I'm starting to see a, a scary resemblance with McFarlane and US, ex-UFC fighter Wes Sims. Anyone back in, uh, in Townsville that can confirm that, I will accept. Kefu now has moved to a half guard position. Trying to find his underhook, not to give uh, McFarlane that way out. There it is. Beautiful. He has managed to get this top position here, uh, Nick Kefu. He hasn't managed to get much done with it is controlling McFarlane, but hasn't managed to get any damage done. I'd like to see him maybe posture up. There it is. Just get some damage done. Just looks good for, uh, for our judges scoring. Back into a full guard for Joel McFarlane. There we go. Does look like uh, Nick Keffer has received some sort of cut. Very tough round to score there. Nick Kefu did manage to get that top position, but didn't do a whole heap with it. McFarlane touched him multiple times with that powerful right hand. He does have dynamite in between those five fingers. And Nick Kefu must respect that. 
think he's got to be all the way out or all the way in executing his takedowns. He can't dance around in that mid-range. He had that knowledge of range very, very early until uh, Joel touched him once. Sort of put his radar out in the end. But I, look, I think Nick Kirby would be smart to uh, try and set up that nice double leggy hit. And maybe attack uh, transitionings to submission. Or posture up and get some damage done. Both fighters taking some deep breaths. But look fairly fresh leading into this next round. Bit of banter between corner and ref there. That's what we like to see. Kicking off our second round. Round two. Let's see whether Nick Keffrey does choose to get into that or he's going to sit in that range. That's still a very nice long jab, Joel McFarlane. Very impressed with what he does with his hands. Oh, and he's put a left hook on this time. Oh, but he eats one himself. And a knee. He's eating a left hook and a knee himself. Now Nick Keffrey's trying to come back. Both uh, parties swinging very hard strikes. They want to tuck their chins nice and tight into that chest before something gets uh, put into our lovely people here on uh, at Gage side. Oh, they're both looking to land with that uh, left hand, right, right hook, straight combo. Not where uh, Joel McFarlane wanted to be. He's managed to work way back to his guard. He could have a triangle if he gets that leg free. No, Nick, uh, Nick uses that to pass. He was very aware of that. Obviously, great level of grappling down there at, uh, at Southside MMA. I'm sure Mr. Paul Stoyle has thrown him in triangles umpteen dozen times. Now in a side control position for Nick Kefu. Needs to get more damage done. Be careful of that bridge off the cage. But let's see if he can get a little bit more attacking with his top game. But his submissions, he looks like he might be attacking that far arm. But he needs to get some more striking done off the, uh, off the deck here. Be starting to isolate that uh, that far arm from maybe a, a Kimura lock, or even just to uh, place it out of the way to get some strikes done. Refereeing uh, informing our fighters they need to get some work done here, otherwise he's going to bring him back to the feet for more of that brouhaha action. Good, keeping in mind for our sponsors, guys, Vision Financial. Cosmic Signs, Red Hot Couriers. Looking, making sure that uh, these fights can go ahead tonight. So big shout out to our sponsors. Great cop control by Nick Keffel. Not getting a whole heap of work done, but John McFarlane not finding an avenue to get back up. Round's coming closer to an end. Be maybe a good idea for uh, Keffel to transition to a more dominant position. But now he's back on his feet. Let's see McFarlane comes with the thunder. I reckon he just might. Circles to his backs off that cage. I can see a left hook, right hand coming soon. It seems to be his uh, combo of choice. There's the left hook. There's that right hand. Putting in some knees as well. Both fighters mixing everything up. Clunking each other. Rock em, sock em, robot. Wow, there's that left hook, right hand combo that McFarlane's in love with. Nick Kefu's got to keep it, uh, keep it tucked so that none of them put him to sleep. Oh, and a knee landed just towards the end there. Tell you what, these fighters getting all the work done. Great round there. Very hard to score this fight, very hard to score. Let's stop scoring it and start enjoying it. <laughs> John McFarlane giving him the thumbs up. Big smile out to the crowd. Saying, how are you liking my handiwork? Nick Kefu did manage to get the, the fight to the ground and control. Not getting as much work as you want to see on the top. But, look, did control that top position for the majority of that round. So, probably did control that uh, on the score, judges' scorecards. But as soon as it's back on his feet, Joel McFarlane's throwing that 3-1 th uh, combo, 3-2 combo. And looking to end this fight. There's Edwin Arana there, giving his fighters some last minute instructions. I've got very little doubt John McFarlane's going to come out here and try to uh, try to finish this fight, try to keep his perfect record intact and set this crowd alight. Final round of this super entertaining fight. Both fighters sucking wind. 
Here we go. But ready to go back to war. Final round. Uh, both fighters, fighters, saunter out to the center cage. Front kick opened up there by Joel McFarlane. Ikefu looking to attack that double leg straight away. He wants his fight back on the ground. And there it is. McFarlane needs to find a quicker way to get back to his feet if he wants to win this fight. He can't win it off his back. He's not showing a lot of sweeps or submissions from here. Does do a good job of, uh, of not getting too much damage done. Ikefu's not lighting him up from here, but this is not where the fight's going to be won. If he, needs to, if he wants to win this fight, he needs to push off, find some space, get back to his feet, and start hocking those ham, ham hocks again. Nick Kefu's chin. Kefu using that left hand just to pin that chin down to the uh, the mat. Maybe come over top with that right. Nice control, head in the center of the chest. McFarlane opting again, very as like we have the earlier fight to uh, to go with the uh, the body triangle from his back. Look, as Ben and I were talking about before, great for control, not great for attacking. More of a a, a neutral position. But he might be attacking a triangle here. Ah. Oh. Very good awareness there when he kept it. As we pointed out before, he's coming from a high-level jiu-jitsu gym. He knows when the triangles are coming on. But good to see Joel, McFa yeah, Joel McFarlane attacking from bottom. But I think it's time now to look for that underhook. Push off, get back to his feet. That's where he's going to win this fight. Great bridge off the cage here. And there's that up to the feet. He needs to sprawl. Otherwise, he's going to get double leg straight away. Nick Kefu deep on it. And straight back to the ground. Nick Kefu really doing a, a blanketing, grinding style here. Some people might say they don't enjoy that much, but very effective way of fighting. He's got a, he's got a strong, heavy hitter. Put him on his back. Grind him out. Punch him, hit him. Rinse and repeat. Very disciplined uh, performance so far by Nick Kefu. He's got to watch though as John McFarlane's working his way back, his feet back to that cage, going to try and explode. Nick Kefu taking in some very deep breaths. He's feeling the weight of this fight, but still getting the work done as he's in there. Tiny little strikes, just enough to uh, let the people know he's working. While controlling Joel McFarlane on his back. Gotta watch his arm in there. Look, I don't think that McFarlane's gonna be able to get around to it. Standing over top. Oh, hey! <laughs> we'll count that as a sweep. We'll give him the two points. But I think Nick Kefu's done enough of uh control this fight win. Great grappling performance, great wrestling, great top game, very much a south side of MMA style and uh, very impressed. Beautiful power shown by Joel McFarlane, I was very impressed with the way he was throwing his hands. Very entertaining fight. Fighters working out. We got one more of our, uh, our B class fights to come up to this, and then we move on to the uh, the pro card. All with all the nasty stuff coming back in with those elbow strikes, with those rotational leg locks, those longer rounds. More experienced fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Bout number six on the card tonight, proudly brought to you by Absolute Enterprises. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scoring the bout 29 uh, 28. For your winner from the blue corner, Nick Slick Kapu! Well done to Nick Kapu from Southside MMA. Great display of grappling, great uh, display of control. Very disciplined performance to get a win tonight. Here at Carnage in the Cage 6.